One of the most frequently asked questions about the origin of the universe is where the Big Bang occurred, but this question arises from an imprecise mental image. We often imagine the Big Bang as a conventional explosion, which occurred at a point in space from which matter expanded, but in reality the Big Bang is not an explosion in the classical sense of the term, but rather an expansion of space itself, which did not take place in a pre-existing space but involved all of space in a homogeneous and simultaneous way. Galaxies are moving away from each other not because they were launched from a central point, but because space is expanding everywhere, without a center and without observable boundaries. Hubble's law shows that galaxies move away from us faster the further they are, and this is true in every direction. Wherever you look, you see traces of the same initial phase, as demonstrated by the cosmic microwave background. This means that the Big Bang occurred everywhere in the same way including at the point we occupy now, about 14 billion years ago. Furthermore, although it is often said that everything started from a tiny point, in reality we do not know whether the universe is finite or infinite. What we can observe is limited by the distance that light could travel, but there could be much more beyond the observable horizon. Even in the past, every point in space had an extremely high density, but this does not necessarily imply that the entire universe was compressed into a small volume, especially if it is infinite. Compressed infinity is still infinite. Therefore, the Big Bang did not happen at a specific point, but everywhere at the same time.